Does Sunny make a big splash or does she get a dry spell? Hi everyone, I'm Jacob, I'm the Cow Hat Librarian, and I'm here today to talk to you about Sunny Makes a Splash by Jennifer Matthew Holm. This is the fourth book in a series of semi-autobiographical graphic novels written by Jennifer Holm about her youth in the mid to late 1970s. It started with the book Sunny Side Up, continued on to Swing It Sunny, and Roll the Dice Sunny, and the newest one, Sunny Makes a Splash. Now, in this book, it's summertime, Sunny's bored, her friends are gone, her brother's off in the military, and she doesn't have much to do. So she takes up babysitting her annoying younger brother for a little while, and hanging out at the pool with a friend of hers. One day at the pool, things became very, very busy at the snack bar during the adult swim when all the kids had to pile out of the pool. And Sunny could see that the boy working there was absolutely overwhelmed. And she'd become friendly with him over her previous visits. So she hopped over the counter and started helping him. Well, Sunny did such a great job that they offered her work there for the rest of the summer working at the snack bar. Now, she had to deal with her mom's reluctance to let her go do it. Her mom seems to not be willing to realize that Sunny is in fact starting to grow up and can be more independent. And so she heads off and starts working there and she has quite a summer. Now around this she has to deal with a few other things happening like her mom interpreting her friendship with the boy working there as a budding romance when Sunny has to borrow a t-shirt from him because she spills um, hot dog condiments all over her shirt her mom takes it as a big romantic gesture and is very concerned. When Sunny wants to stay there late to help cater a party, I believe, her mom's very concerned but eventually gives in. And in the backdrop to this, Sunny's grandfather comes to visit and he's a delightful old character. I, I think her grandfather is fantastic. And he's retired, he lives in Florida, and he comes to visit and he's met with the same sort of thing from Sonny's mom as he goes and volunteers at the thrift store and starts dating a woman his age. And it's funny to see the parallels between the two of them and the challenges they're facing from Sonny's mom over the course of the summer. And it was really, really good. Now, this whole series has been fun. It has, however, gotten lighter in content and tone since the first one. The first book, Sunny Side Up, was fairly serious. When, when the story begins, Sunny is in Florida hanging out with her grandfather in the retirement community, and she's there for the summer instead of hanging out with her friends. And as the story goes on, and she has small adventures with her grandfather, going out for dinner far too early, swimming at the pool, searching for lost pets and the like, and making friends with someone who teaches her all about comic books. Sunny has flashbacks to the events that had happened the previous months at home, where her older brother Dale was starting to fall in with a bad crowd and starting to smoke and starting to drink, and it's implied that he started using drugs as well. And the story goes back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, until it's revealed at the end that during the bicentennial fireworks, Dale showed up to the celebration late and drunk and took a swing at Sonny's dad and she got hit by mistake. And so her parents sent her to stay with her grandfather while they sorted things out with Dale and eventually sent him to military school. It was compelling. It was so true to life and I had all the sympathy in the world for Sunny and what she was going through and having to deal with a family member who'd had that happen. And it, it was great. It added some real depth to her character and provided some really good context for what was going on in Florida. It was wonderful. The sequel 
where she's making friends at school and dealing with her brother being away and not wanting to be in contact with the family was also really, really, really well done. But then this book and its predecessor, things lightened up quite a bit. Dale's doing fine. He's off in the military. Sunny's biggest problems seem to be fitting in and dealing with her mom. And those are, those are very real things. It's just compared to the stakes in the first two books, it, it feels like her life has smoothed out somewhat and it's, it's not quite as interesting. I still like Sunny. I think she's a wonderful, well-developed, well-realized character. The artwork is fantastic. The references to the 70s and its culture and the little explanation panels that the creators added to explain things are great. It's just these last two don't have quite as much weight. I, I highly, highly recommend them, though. And if you liked anything else that's sort of a period piece for graphic novels for tweens, things like um, El Depo, perhaps? Readers of that might get a lot out of this. Readers of some of Victoria Jameson's graphic novels like Roller Girl or um, All's Fair in Middle School would probably get a lot out of Sonny's Adventures and vice versa. Now, with that said, I... I've sort of talked about some of the things already, but I suppose I should talk about The Deal Breaker. So beyond what I've said already, what is The Deal Breaker? Well, there really isn't one. It's good fun. She's a great character. It's a great period piece, and the side characters are fun, and it's, it's very, very much a story about growing up. And... I loved Gramps, and I can't get enough of Gramps, and he reminds me a little bit of one of my grandfathers, and I think that's fantastic. He is a great old codger, and I mean that in the nicest way, and I liked it. I recommend it. Go borrow it from your local library. Start with Sunny Side Up and carry on, but definitely go borrow it. With that, thank you for listening to me again. Please like, please subscribe. And please check back to see what else I come up with to talk about from the Cowhat Library. Thank you. Bye now.